The Portrayal of an Era, Great Gatsby in the 1920s. You've never read the book, you've never watched the movie, yet even you know that The Great Gatsby was the most beautiful portrayal of the 1920s era in fashion, beauty and industry. But was it? Sure, we had the signature 1920s feathered headpieces, long bead strings, cloche hats, bakelite bangles, spectator shoes. But their quality, prints and design were nowhere near what the 1920s had. For instance, synthetics didn't become a norm in the fashion industry until the 1940s. But designers for The Great Gatsby made extensive use. Eagle-eyed viewers were able to point out where such fashion faux pas were made. Was it done intentionally? Let's find out. The Great Gatsby's portrayal of the 1920s. It's a fact that books are forgiven much more easily than movies. Perhaps it's because there's one curator and creator of all elements in book writing. With movies, though, there are hundreds of people working on one project, some of whom are given the exclusive task of making sure all the elements are portrayed perfectly. In that case, you may forgive some viewers for being angry at the false portrayal of 1920s fashion in the movie, particularly the 2013 rendition. But you have to remember, we think back to the 1920s as dark and gritty, and in many ways a bit unrealistic. But coming off the First World War, it doesn't take a genius to figure that perhaps the 1920s were as sparkly as they were portrayed in the movie, and the people just as real as we are. The 1920s in the 21st century. Fashion and clothing are some of the many tools movie makers use to portray emotion and consequence. For example, if we consider Daisy Buchanan's fashion versus Myrtle Wilson, their fashion choices prove a point. Daisy is sweet, feminine, innocent, naive and beautiful. Myrtle Wilson is sexy, passionate and more mature. Daisy mostly wears lace and lavender. Myrtle shows off her cleavage. In the case of Jordan Baker, she wears pants with her floor-length evening dress. As you can see, fashion is used as a device to mark the time and mark each character's personality. Freedom through fashion. Women's liberation presented itself in many ways. Putting aside the form-fitting clothes and closed-off attitudes of the 19th century, women sought to be braver and open with their choices. Restrictive clothing was replaced with looser shift dresses. Corsets were put away so women could dance and breathe with ease. Short, sharp haircuts were all the rage as women lopped off their long hair in defiance. And makeup applications slowly started to become a norm. The natural look was very much in vogue. So the task of being bold was left to the trend-setting women known as the flapper girls. These women bridged the gap between the middle class and the rich, the meek and the bold. People were no longer separated by the garments they wore. Instead, everyone was allowed to partake in this trend. How to transform your style into a great Gatsby-inspired 1920s look. F. Scott Fitzgerald wanted to make Jay Gatsby an icon in all ways and did so during one of the most revolutionary moments in the fashion world. The ideal 1920s choice for women's wear, the flapper dress. The term flapper was initially used as an insult until the female population turned it into a badge of honour. For anyone who wants to imitate an iconic 1920s ensemble, the flapper dress would make a perfect choice. Presented in pristine fashion, the selection by wardrobe shop ticks all the right boxes, from party dresses to elegant fringe flappers to gorgeous art deco creations, the online store offers a wide variety to choose from for every occasion. Shoes. Shoes in the early 20th century were very casual, less dressy, yet perfectly fashionable. Women also wore high heels if needed. But if you want to be at your utmost comfort, there's no reason why you can't wear shorter heels so that you can dance all night long. Accessories. Cloche hats are a classic 1920s look, but if you want to go for something new, daring and bold, go all out with a turban or a head wrap. And why not? Turbans were very popular in the 1920s, as you may have seen in just about every rendition of The Great Gatsby. 
However, if you feel like you want something different, you can always choose a feather fascinator or a flapper headband. How the Great Gatsby impacted modern fashion The Great Gatsby was able to give a more realistic look at what fashion in the 1920s entailed, even more than what the historians provided for us. In many ways, the book became an inspiration for many in the industry. Let's have a look at how The Great Gatsby made the 1920s fashion more accessible and how it has affected modern fashion. Art Deco It was a revolutionary era and times and tides in society and lifestyle were changing and evolving every day. With more people, exclusively women, becoming more empowered, the world of fashion decided to introduce an equally daring style to the audience. Art Deco Featuring geometric shapes, luxurious designs and an avant-garde style that cannot be imitated Art Deco allowed people to combine fun elements with modern silhouettes. Decadent detailing Art Deco gave way for fashion designers to be bolder and flasher with their looks. That's why when it came to flapper dresses, we saw plenty of decadent tops, structured hems, beaded numbers, heavy embellishments, feathers. Everything you can add to make the dress more eye-catching. With time and more creativity added to the mix, these detailed designs were integrated with other forms of clothing. From beachwear to formal clothing, beading and decadent details are now a significant component of all fashion styles. Heirloom jewellery Heirloom jewellery was often a large piece passed down from generation to generation and often had a high monetary value because of the gemstones and materials used. This trend of giving your sentimental jewellery was not new, but it did add a sense of love and wonder to the trinket. Tea bar shoes. These shoes were often shaped with a closed toe, were comfortable, had a reasonable heel, and were very flattering to boot. Conclusion. The Great Gatsby had an enormous impact on the fashion world and in general. Given that F. Scott Fitzgerald was able to capture that time so perfectly, we should genuinely give our thanks to the author who could direct future generations on what the 1920s were. The above information only gives us a sneak peek into how the book and the movies influenced us. But with what we've learned, we now know how only a decade of fashion choices can impact our lives, the media and the future of all the people we know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to be notified of new videos. See you in the next one.